Hey, what's up, everyone? Ralph here. So if you're someone that's looking to make some easy cash online, uh, then there's no better way to do it than with online surveys. Um, it won't make you rich, but if you're just looking to make some extra cash, then taking online service is a good way to go about it. But how does it work? So in this video, I'm going to show you um, exactly how it works, uh, what to look for when searching for it for survey sites to participate in, and finally, if it's worth trying or not. All right. So what's the purpose? First of all, what's the purpose of survey sites? Right. So survey sites basically are just platforms that helps connect like market research companies with individuals that are looking to participate in surveys uh, to help provide feedback on various topics. So obviously, for someone like you your goal is to obviously you know take these surveys and make some money right that's obviously what you want to do when you're taking these surveys for them they're obviously looking to to get some some feedback right they're doing some data analysis they, they're looking up how to you know uh, analyze certain trends uh opinions and like preferences on like certain like various topics so obviously they they they, they connect with you and to help them you know get more information on that on that data they have you take surveys and then you know obviously compensate you with some money all right. So when you're going through these surveys, the first thing you're going to do always is like register. Right. So depending on what survey site that you, you, you know, you decided to go with, um, you're going to register. Right. So they're going to ask you things like uh, your name, email, um, you know, age and um, address and demographic. And depending on you know, depending on the survey site, they'll, they'll ask you some of these things. And you want to make sure you put the correct information, because one thing that you need to understand is that they need to verify that. First of all, they need to verify that it's you, right? So obviously, if you want to get paid, they want to make sure that all that information is correct. Also, there's another thing like when you're answering surveys, they're gonna use some of this information to also like provide surveys for you. So you want to make sure that you're putting the, the obviously your right name, the right email address, uh, age, and demographic. So when they're, they're they're looking for surveys for you, they want to make sure that 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 information, based on the information that you provide them, they can provide you with the best surveys. Right? And also, like I said, they verify as well. So if you want to make sure you put the, the correct email because um, if you once you register, they're going to send you an email to make sure it verifies yours. Um, and then they're going to you're going to verify, go to your email address and then verify. And I'll let you um, I'll give you access to your account. All right. So after you've created your registration, uh, the next thing you're going to do is also um, create a profile. You're going to create your profile. Now, this is almost the same as the registration, but they're going to ask for more detailed information. So they're going to ask you what, like, what your interests are. Uh, let me see. Education, employment status. And they use this to match you with the best surveys. All right. So basically the way that it works is like um, once you put it, you, once you create your profile and you put on that information and this helps them like create like a bunch of surveys and then they, they can fish out, you know, send you out what surveys match b based on the information you provided for them. So if you put in, you know, the incorrect information, um, it's not going to help you get the surveys that you want. Because sometimes with a lot of people, they'll take a survey and then they find out they don't qualify for it. Um, because that's because, you know, the information that they put on their profile was incorrect. So they didn't find a, a survey that matched them. So you want to make sure you put in the, inc the, the, the right information, the correct information. So then they're finding the best surveys to match you up to. So it can reduce your your risk of like not qualifying. You don't want to go through the survey and then you know five minutes in you find out you don't qualify. You know it's gonna waste your time. So you want to make sure when you you know you're you're putting interest, you put your education, your employment status. Make sure you put all that information in so it can help better find them, um, help them find the best uh, survey for you. All right, so once you create your profile, uh, the next thing you're going to do is um, survey invites, right? So this is where, you know, they're going to find how you get, you know, invited for service. Now, there's three ways there's three ways of this happens, right? One of them is through an email invite. And it depends on the, it depends on the survey site that you participate in. They like to send emails. They're like, all right, we have a survey um, here. You can participate. Click on this link and then you can participate. It's rare. I haven't found too many that does it that does that. But there are some that do that. Um, another way is through text. I haven't found any that does that. But from what for based on research, there are some survey sites that will send you a text, you know, to for you to participate in. The third one is uh, the, and the most common is like once you register and sign up for to a survey site, you're going to um, that this is where you, you'll find all the surveys based right on on the dashboard. And I'll give you an example right here. So I'll, I'll bring you a survey junkie and I'll show you exactly how it works. So let it load up real quick. Um, and you'll see this is Survey Junkie. Um, this is one of the more reputable um, survey sites. Um, so basically, once you go through their survey site, you'll see right here it says take a survey. Um, this is where you, you'll see all the surveys right here on your dashboard. And most survey sites, uh, this is how they operate. Like once you log in, once you create the profile, once you create your, your account, um, you'll see all the surveys right in front of you. So um, that's mainly the, the, the main way that they do it. So uh, you'll, t you'll tend to see all of that right there in front of you. 
um, not only that, once you see everything on the dashboard, the one thing you'll notice is that like you'll see um, how much points that you'll take. This usually like, a lot of these service sites they'll tell you exactly how much you're going to be compensated for that service site, and up top you'll see how long it takes. Like they'll you'll tell you exactly how long this survey site is going to the survey that you're going to take is gonna, how long it's going to take. Um, and so they provide you information like how long it's going to take, how much you get um, you're going to get compensated for. Usually it's either in cash or in points. In this case, um, Survey Junkie they 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 compensate you in points where you can accumulate and then you can eventually uh, get paid out. But I'll go I'll go over that um, later but you'll see everything in here they'll say take the survey um, sometimes in some some cases you'll see the actual topic of the survey in this case you don't uh, but once you click on a sur take survey you'll, you'll see more um, information on there so in this case like you'll see everything around the dashboard you see how long it's gonna take and how much points um, and how much points you'll you'll get once you complete uh, the survey the next step is, is is basically taking surveys so now once you're taking the surveys this is where it's important that you want to make sure that once you're taking a surveys, you want to make sure you answer the questions that they have on a survey truthfully right because you want to make sure you whatever they're asking don't try to like manipulate it or try to answer the question in the way you think they want you to answer because what it can do is like um, obviously if you're not answering it on honestly and you're, you're lying um, there's a chance that you could get your account closed um, depending on the, the type of answer let's say you, you create a profile and you said your age was 36 but then when you're taking a survey you say you were 30 right they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna see that um, that that discrepancy and there's a, there's a risk that you can um, close they can close your account because obviously you're not answering truthfully so you want to make sure when you take any surveys answer it as truthfully as possible um, and then hopefully that, that 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 decreases your risk of like not being qualified for that survey so once you're going through that survey make sure uh, you answer it answer it uh, truthfully now the next thing is compensation once you're done completing that survey and you qualify everything is done boom it's all about compensation like I said you either get paid either through points um, or cash right so let's say you've, you've, you've accumulated you've, you've you've taken a bunch of surveys and now let's say you want to cash out now a lot of these surveys um, sites they'll have they have a certain threshold that you have to meet I've, I've seen as low as a dollar but typically you'll see anything range from like five to uh, 20 bucks um, anything higher than that is like I, I, I would be cautious of that because the high, I, I would say the higher the threshold the less likely it is that they pay these the, um, the less likely that that survey site probably pays out because if, if it takes that long let's say a $30 threshold most people don't it's hard to accumulate that um, in a quick amount of time it takes a long period of time but most people they want to probably take some surveys get it done quick and then get cashed out so if you see something with a very high threshold um, more than likely that I wouldn't trust that I wouldn't trust that site because it takes a while um, for them to actually pay out so usually like the ones that I tend to trust are like maybe five dollars anything more than like five maybe ten dollars um, I, I probably wouldn't do so I, I try to go for the lowest threshold as possible and like I said the lowest I've seen is like a dollar but any if any you, you typically see anywhere like five to ten bucks and the way they compensate um, you is they'll either pay you uh, compensate you in cash uh, gift cards like when you're cashing out they'll pay you in cash that they can send to your account uh, or they'll pay you in a gift card or you know they'll uh, you know the, all the points that you accumulate they'll 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 award you that in reward so that like, you accumulate a certain amount of points and they'll let you um, you know obviously you know cash out and uh, redeem that in reward so that's usually the three methods that you'll see um, some even do it in Bitcoin so that's another way as well so but te typically it's usually the PayPal um, you know gift cards or like just you know points where you can redeem for a reward so that's usually the compensation you know in terms of compensation that's how they usually pay out so final thoughts like so is it worth it I mean it depends like it depends on your expectation if you're expecting to get rich off of this then you're, you're gonna be disappointed but if you're someone that's just trying to make a, a few extra bucks um, and something like you want to just get some you know extra side um, money where you can probably pay you know pay off you know some things or you want to just use as a you know as a way to you know just you know just to use on the side then that that could be that that's a good way for you to make some extra cash um, but it, de it really depends on your expectation another thing is you got to worry about some some of these sites like some of these survey sites like a lot of people complain that they don't pay out all right so making sure you do your research um, finding sites that 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 are legit and they they there because there's a lot of scamming service sites where you know like I said they have th high thresholds or maybe they don't pay out as regular as 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 they you would like them to and a lot of people complain that you know they did all these service and they don't get paid out and you gotta be careful with that so like some of the survey sites that 
you know that are more they have a more a better reputation but you still got to be skeptical you still got to be cautious you know but the, like some that i would that come to mind are like uh brand surveys uh swag bucks survey junkie uh inbox dollar and my survey these are just to name a few um they all have their little you know their their pros and cons uh but these tend to be the more reputable one um there's a lot of other ones out there that you know people take and they just don't get paid out so you want to make sure that you you obviously obviously do your research and 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 make sure like i said you got to maintain a certain expectation if you're looking for a way to get rich this is not survey sites aren't the way but it is a way that you can you know obviously make some extra cash on the side so uh, that's all i got for you guys today if you got any comments or questions make sure to leave it down below hit the like button and share and if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe all right so you guys take care and have a good one later